everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today our mum will be teaching us how to prepare Jamaican salt fish. Hello everyone. Yes, today I am preparing Jamaican salt fish. A major part of salt fish preparation is to get rid of that extra salt. So, we want to start by washing our salt fish under cold running water. Following that, we boil our salt fish. And then we pour off that water and we probably will need to boil it a second time and pour off that water as well. Finally, after all the boiling, we're going to put some cold water onto the salt fish and start cleaning it up. You get rid of the bones, get rid of the skin and the fins, anything that you don't need, get rid of it. Right, I'm just rinsing it one more time just to get rid of any extra salt. If it's too fresh later on when you've cooked it, you can tip a little bit of salt back into it. There we go, so that's our salt fish that we're going to use. We've taken out the bones, taken off the skin. So in this pot, I'm going to put some coconut oil in there. Now that the oil is ready, I'm going to add in my onion, thyme, scotch bonnet pepper, sweet pepper or bell pepper, whatever you call it, spring onion, and tomato. I'm going to leave that for a while before adding in my salt fish. I'm not going to add the salt fish in there. Sprinkle a bit of black pepper. I have no garlic today, so I'm going to use a little bit of garlic granules. Then some mixed herbs. I'm going to tip a little bit of this fish seasoning in there. Mix it all together. And leave it to simmer. So the salt fish is looking really lovely here, almost ready now. Somebody taught me recently that if you put a little bit of vinegar in there, it will give it a kick, bring up the flavor. And I tasted it was very nice. So in here, I'm gonna put a little bit of apple cider vinegar. You can use the regular white vinegar if you want to. So we're stirring that up. And I'm now going to taste it to see if it has enough of that vinegar in there. I'm going to put a little bit more vinegar. I'll put another. So you have this and check again if the taste is okay. I added about three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar but that's going to be you might need to use less depending on how much salt fish you've got and if you're using the white vinegar you probably need to use less because it has a stronger taste. Now I'm finished with the salt fish I'm going to be serving it now. It tastes Lovely. 
Mmm, that was so tasty. I know, right? Can you keep my food from the baby? I'm just going to get a glass of lemonade. Sure. Right, right, right. He's gone. Want to take some? Yeah, let's take some. Ah. Hey, my food is my food. Leave it alone. Rachel, let's not try this again. I, I agree.